otek muda sijaribu ku scroll kama unaishi hii Kenya yetu bado no guys no this cannot be true ah uh, ah uh, this cannot be true what ah uh, ah uh, it's not him This is not serious guys. This is not serious at all. You guys are joking. Ebu mtu niambie si ukweli please. Mtu tu aniambie si ukweli. Ni ukweli baba mbona ameenda? Please, si ukweli, si ndio? Si ukweli. Ebu mtu aniambie si ukweli. Akisiwezi fungua TikTok na hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza nakutana nayo. Mm -mm. No. Mtu aniambie tu si ukweli please. Mtu tu aniambie hiyo ni uongo. Yuko labda ako kwa hospitali kitu kama hiyo. Mtu aniambie si ukweli please. Eh, alafu hiyo ndio kitu nafungua TikTok hivi nakutana na hiyo. Oh my god. Nafungua tu hivi TikTok napata kwa Prince Mwiti baba Monais nice, Nomo. Oh no god. Mm -mm. Mtu aniambie si ukweli please. Chimolo no rang my bed. Chimolo no win my bed. Who else? I'm sure I'm going to talk about the story of Baba Mona. He's no more. At the Mkufa. Kai, what kind of mother was he? Kai, the sisters are he or Aki ajali. Kai. Aki mi nimeshtuka. Huu. Nimeshua na nguvu. Hey. Maisha. Maisha na ota hema. Hmm. Hema. Tent. We. Aki I'm very very sorry to the family. Pole. I'm very very sorry. Mimi hata nimeshtuka. Mtu alikuwa live jana. Mbona alikuwa live jana by the way? I was in that live. Hmm? Henda vita umeimaliza. Simanzi sinatawa. Umelala kama tamka. Hivi ni kweli umefunuka. Otek, muda sijaribu kuscroll rit matin. Nikushua nyinyi wote sikuizi mnasikia some couples wakisema simu yangu ni yangu na simu yako ni yake. E, yake ni yake, eh? Mimi siwezi kuza simu ya bwana yangu, yaezi kuza simu yangu. It's okay kama mtaki kuangaliana simu it's okay hakuna mtanawalazimisha. After all, muda sipokupea reason ya kutoka kuangalia simu yake it's okay. Unaweza achana naye. But mimi nataka kukuambia most of the time ukisikia couples wakiongea hivyo ati simu yake ni yake na simu yangu ni yangu na kuambia ukweli hao tuauje ni majambazi hao tu wale wameoana ama wakutukwa relationship lakini ni wakora na wanajuana ni washirati wanajua vitu wanafanya huko nje that's why hii relationship wako wako tu eh? kila mtu wako hapo because of some selfish interest wako tu hapo lakini wanajuana wanajua huyu na cheat mimi na cheat lakini kila mtu na simu yake because mimi sijaielewa 
Tuolewa nataka tutunge. Mimi sijaielewa. Hii maisha ya saa hii na ugonjwa wa saa hii. Una trust mtu na private parts zako. Lakini ikifika kwa simu sasa po, kila mtu anakuwa privacy. Hm? Nafaa tukue na private life ikifika hapo. Mimi nakwambia hivi. Kama una watch video na kuna mtu yote mnalala na bila condom. Yes, kama mnalala na condom sawa hiyo mimi naongelelea afya yako. Kama kuna mtu yote mnalala na bila protection, uko na right ya kumwambia fungua simu yako na kuambia ukweli video itakusaidia utakosa kujikuna utakofa kukufa kukufa mapema acha hizo advice za watu na kuadvise ukitaka ndoa yako ikae sijui usiguze simu ya bwana yako sasa ndoa yako ikae usiguze simu ya bwana yako na kesho ukikufa kesho ukianza kujikuna na kujikuna ile kabisa nani hata hawa watu wenye wanakupea hizi advices mtu atakuja so for the sake of your health roho yako wachana nayo roho tu inaanza jitengeneza but for the sake of your health kama una sex na mtu bila kondom na unamshuku unashuku tu kuna kitu haiko right uko na right ya kuguza simu yake na sijaielewa ati mtu akiguza simu most of the time madembe wanaambiwa kitu demo akiguza simu tena nateteshwa mbona uliguza simu ya mwanaume haki simu ya mwanaume haiguzi wangi afadhali ulie siku mbili siku tatu lakini uji save for the future as wendes otek mta sijaribu ku scroll kama unaishi hii Kenya yetu bado na unakula 3 meals a day. Shukuru Mungu. Watu siku hizi hawakuli 3 meals a day hapa Kenya. Maisha yashakuwa mbaya. Siku hizi ni either ukule mara mbili ama ukule mara moja. Si kama tunaelewana. Na mimi sitakuja hapa kama wale wa pasta wa chorus kujitingisha simu utapata pesa sijui fanya nini things will be better. Mimi nataka kukuambia ukweli. Sioni vitu zikiwa better anytime soon. Sioni sioni kama kutakuwa na change. In fact naona tu kukuendelea kuwa kubaya. So mwenye ana watch video, kwenye nataka kukuambia adjust. Najua maisha ni hard. Najua kuna venye uko ushazoea kuishi. Najua kuna venye eh nakwambia sasa watu wana pesa. Sasa watu wana pesa, mta sikudanganyi. Kuna venye uko umezoea. Uko umezoea kwa kuna watu, shule watu wako walikuwa wamezoea kuenda. Kuna venye uko ushaeka maisha yako. But maisha ni change. Na iki change kwako the only thing you can do right now adjust tafuta nyumba cheap toa watoto wako private school wapeleke public shukisha tu standard kidogo si lazima usijiue mimi nakwambia ukweli hakuna haja nikwambie oh ati ngangana vitu zitakuwa ni vizuri kungangana but usichukue kambo uweke kwa shingo yako watu wameshindwa kulipa rent tu kuje saa hii Watu wameshindwa kukula vizuri, watu wameshindwa kupeleka watoto wao shule. Wewe ile kidogo yenye uko nayo saa hii jipange. Adjust. Punguza vitu zingine zenye mlikuwa mnatumia kwa nyumba hizi vitu za luxury. Punguza kidogo. That is the only way. Ama ukiangalia saa hii ukiangalia maisha tunaishi this politicians kuna mtu mmoja anawajali kweli. Hakuna mtu anajali, hakuna mtu anajua mimi ni mjaluo, hakuna mtu anajua mwenye una watch video lugha yako. The only thing you can do ni adjust na families sasa hii this is the time ya kustay pamoja hii ndio time yenu ya kukaa pamoja unajua saa time kama saa time kuna crisis ndio watu wengi huachana bibi anakasirika kama bwana wako amekuwa bwana mzuri all along ama bibi yako amekuwa bibi mzuri this is the time ya kushikana pamoja this is the time you, because hii kitu yenye mnapitia saa hii sasa hii ndio hii ndio life real so ile ya kuchekeshana kila wakati life iko ipo kuna ile kucheka sasa saa hii ni real Inauma siku hizo unapata watu wanaachana because of hata bwana hajakosea bibi hajakosea wanaachana tu just, just because hakuna do kwa hiyo nyumba hmm? watoto wasomi venye wanataka sasa watu wameshikwa na depression kwa nyumba depression ya pesa so kama una watch video please adjust maisha imeshabadilika